Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to dual boot your iPhone 4 with iOS 7.1.2 and iOS 6.1.3. As you can see here, this is an iPhone 4 right here. Um, and you can see that it's running iOS 6.1.3. If I go into settings here, you can see iOS 6.1.3. You can see my serial number down here. You can check that out if you uh, don't believe me right there. And then, um, so basically it's a full version of iOS 6. I'm gonna go down ahead and boot back into iOS 7, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back in iOS 7 here. If I can go ahead and unlock the phone here. As you can see, iOS 7 runs absolutely horrible on the 4. I don't even know what's happened now. There we go. Okay, there we go. So you can see here we're running iOS 7. I'm gonna jump into settings here and show you that I am running iOS 7. Go to general, about, Okay, and you can see right here, iOS 7.1.2, and you can see that my serial number is exactly the same. So that's how you know that this is the same phone, I didn't just go out and switch them. Did you say, well, you could have just updated. Well, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do this. Now, obviously you need to be jailbroken and you're going to go need Cydia, so you obviously need to be jailbroken. So to get Cydia, you need to go ahead and connect your phone into uh, your computer and jailbreak it using Pangu. Now, you need a 32-bit iPhone to do this. Um, this will not work on anything above the iPhone 5. Um, I don't have any other iPhones that are actually jailbroken. This is my only one, which is an iPhone 4. So this is the only thing I could test this jailbreak tweak on. So like I said, you need a jailbreak. There's plenty of videos out there on the YouTube how to jailbreak your iPhone 4 running iOS 7.1.2. As the iPhone 4, um, its latest version is 7.1.2. If this screws up, you can then just restore and jailbreak and try again. Um, if you do it with any newer phone um, and you jailbreak and then it, you have to end up restoring your phone, then obviously you're going to need to update, which then you'll lose your jailbreak and won't be able to jailbreak again until a jailbreak is released for that iOS version. So that's why the iPhone 4 is a good phone to test this out on. Um, and also most people just have these laying around in their drawer and they don't mind if it screws up. So obviously I'm not responsible if you damage your phone doing this. It is um, obviously modifying the uh, storage um, by cutting it in half roughly to, um, and adding a partition. Uh, it's pretty, it's, it's really easy to do. Um, so what we need to do is jump into Cydia here, um, wait for Cydia to open, and um, then we can go ahead and add the repo. So the repo will be in the description, the, the URL you need to add. So you need to go over to the sources, click on edit, and then add, right? And then when this box comes out, you wanna enter that address in there and click on add source. We'll have some scrolling text and we'll, and we'll say return to Cydia. And then you'll have this right here, this coolbooter.com. That's the uh, repo address, if you were wondering. And then you can go ahead and click on that and you click on either any one of these, it doesn't matter. They've only got one uh, tweak in here. And you can see that this is cool bot beta. So you just wanna add this um, to your phone. As I've already done this, um, I'm not going to delete the whole partition and everything and have to redo this whole process. Um, as you do have to download everything um, that's required. So obviously I didn't make this tweak, uh, so credit to uh, whoever made this. Um, as you can see, it only works on 32-bit devices, so you need to go ahead and install that. And once that's installed, you will see it right here. So you can go ahead and open that up. Now obviously, uh, back up your device, like I said, and um, I'm not responsible if this screws up your phone. So you're doing this at your own risk. Now, once you're in this cool booter thing, you need to go ahead and click on install. Now mine says uninstall as I've already installed iOS 6.1.3. Now you can install anywhere from iOS 6.0 to 6.1.3, but I don't see any point to go to 6.0, so 6.1.3 is fine. Next, you wanna click on the install button, obviously, and select your install you want. It will then download that firmware onto your phone. It will then partition your phone and your phone will be ready and you will get this screen right here after it's finished. And then you can just go ahead and click on boot. So click on boot here and you can see that it says down the bottom, preparing to boot iOS 6.1.3. And it should tell me in a minute that I need to lock my device. It says that saying, it's saying here that I need to lock my device so I need to go ahead and push the power button. I need to go ahead and wait 10 seconds or thereabouts and go ahead and turn back on the phone. So let's just wait 10 seconds. Okay, push the power button and you'll then see the screen will light up and you'll get nothing. Now, when you go to install this, it will also ask you if you want to install Cydia. 
So um, I did install Cydia, but I don't really see any use for it. Um, but you know, you might find a use for it um, if you want jailbroken iOS 6.1.3. So then obviously you'd have two OSs on your phone, but uh, that both be jailbroken as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and wait for that to reboot. Uh, there's also another option in there um, that will have uh, will enable the scrolling text um, on the screen. Uh, I obviously didn't enable that, so I just get a black screen, which is kind of boring. Um, I didn't know that, and there's a little scroll wheel down there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Um, but if you do pick the uh, text version, I can't remember what it's called, but it asks you that, and it also asks you if you want Cydia. There's only two options you've got to pick. And uh, it does take a long time to boot into iOS 6.1.3, and you can see that it doesn't show the Apple logo, so I'm not sure why that is. But obviously, when you do this for the first time, you have to set up the iPhone. Um, it'll say iPhone slide to set up, and you have to go through the setup process. Um, and if you've got your Apple ID linked to the other um, version of iOS, so iOS 7.1.2, you'll have to sign in and, um, uh, you know, activation lock sort of thing, um, because it's still signed in on the other version. Um, then after that, if you've got a passcode, it'll ask you to put in that as well. Um, and as you can see, this is iOS 6.1.3 on the iPhone 4, 6.1.3. Um, that's that's weird. It remembered exactly where I was. Um, now it is a full version of iOS 6, so you can install apps and do everything like that. Um, there's no SHSH blobs, meaning that uh, this is tethered. Um, so if you restart your phone, you'll be back in iOS 7, and you have to um, you won't have to reinstall the whole thing. You'll just have to click on boot like I did, and then you'll be back into the uh, into iOS 6. You can see that it looks and feels just right, and I've got Cydia right here because um, I chose to jailbreak why um, it was installing. So basically, it's just now an iPhone 4 with iOS 6 on it. Um, I might do a video comparing iOS 6 on the iPhone 4 to the iPhone 4 running iOS 7.1.2, because I've got two iPhone 4s. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this um, slows down performance or anything having it dual booted, um, because I'm not sure exactly how this works. Um, now, it, it seems pretty fast and snappy, but I mean, it does lag and freeze sometimes. I know um, a few times trying to get into the About section, it would just randomly lock up and freeze, and then you just have to get out of it, and it would work. And I'm not sure if that's just an iOS 6 bug, or it's just the um, actual software that's uh, dual booting this phone is a little bit unstable. Now, it is in beta, so obviously there's going to be some issues and things with this, um, so it might not work for everyone. Now, if you go ahead and connect your iPhone up to a computer, you'll see that it does show up as iOS 6.1.3 and there is a new version available. But if you notice over here, it says six gigabytes, um, which is very weird. And there's no uh, such thing as a six gig iPhone. The, the lowest storage capacity was a four gig iPhone and that was on the first gen. And then they really just stuck with eight gigs. So having a six gig icon there is a little weird. Um, but that this is a 16 gig iPhone. This is obviously dual booted, so this storage had to be cut down. Um, I'm not sure why it's exactly six gigs, um, but that's what uh, the app automatically chose for me. So that's what the phone is. Okay, so booting back into iOS 7 here, you can see that it now shows up as 10 gigs, and you can see that it is on 7.1.2. So basically, the iOS 7 partition is 10 gigs. The iOS 6 partition is six gigs. But this is iOS 6.1.3, dual booted with iOS 7.1.2 on the iPhone 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And make sure to check out the iPhone playlist, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time in another one of my great videos.